So this prayer offers respectful obeisances unto Naraya, Supreme Personality God. To the goddess Saraswati. And it declares that uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam Tato Jayam Udireya. Jayam means to have victory. And the question in the first chapter of the Bhagavatam, the sages asked how we'll be able to cross over the ocean of material existence. And here it said by the transcell by hearing the transcell vibration of the Srimad Bhagavatam one could cross over the ocean of material existence. And today we're going to be reading from a chapter about uh, Nanda Maharaj. Who uh, was saved by Krishna in a rather unusual situation when Nanda uh, got swallowed by a big snake. And uh, he calls out for Krishna who comes to save him. And that everyone else tried to save him by beating on the snake with uh, burning logs. But even by that, that the snake would not uh, give up. Trying to swallow Nanda Maharaj. But then Nanda called out for Krishna. Krishna! You could try it. Krishna! Krishna! And then Krishna came and saved him. He put his lotus foot on the head of the snake. And then the snake transformed into uh, a vidyadara, or a very uh, heavenly type of person. So, this morning is Kavi Chandrabharaj did the first verse yesterday. Oh. So we're on number two. So, right? Yes. Two through nine. Two through nine? Yeah. Oh. So this is the beginning of the story. So I'm going to also read the translation to number one so we have context. So Shukadev Goswami is uh, telling the story to Prichit Maharaj. Because as to remember that Prichit Maharaj had been cursed to die within seven days. And he had given up his kingship. And then he went to the, the Ganges. And he sat down. 
physical insert there. To figure out what was his, what would be the way he would greet death, the best way. どうやったらその自分の死に向かうことができるかということを考えていました。And many people came there to give him advice. でそこにたくさんの人がね、彼にアドバイスをするためにやってきました。ありがとうございます。<笑>みんなそうやってどうやって他の人を、ね、助けるかといういろんな考えがあります。And many sages and great teachers came to see the king at that time. でその王様に会いにたくさんの偉大な聖人たちやあそういう人たちがそこにやってきた,やってきたんですね。And they have varieties of ways of how to help them. で彼をどうやって助けてあげようかというさまざまな考えを持ってそこにやってきました。And when Shukadev Goswami arrived, everyone stood up. で、シュカデブ・ゴスワミがそこに来たときに、もうそこにいたみんな,みんなが、ね、立ち上がったんですね。When an advanced person comes into our presence, we should always stand up. でそうやって発達した人が来たときには、そのグループの,グループのところに来たときには、みんなこう立ち上がるべきです。Out of show of respect. で、その人を尊敬、その人のに尊敬を示すためにね。And Shukadev Goswami had、uh, learned the Shrimad Bhagavatam from his father, Vyasadeva. Shukadev Goswami はお父さんである Vyasadeva から Shrimad Bhagavatam を学びました。And after learning it, he had nowhere, nothing else to do in life except for to go to teach it to others. でそれを学んだ後にね、もう他に何もやることもなくなった。で、そのやるべきことは、まあ、その教えを他の人に教えることです。それしかなかった。So by the Lord's arrangement, he arrived there just on the scene. There was no internet to announce that the king had、uh, gone to the Ganges. まあその頃はね、その王様がその,あの川のほとりに来てるとかっていう、もうインターネットの,、ね、あのお知らせもなかったわけですけれども、まあ、偶然そこに来て。ね、Gita, that, しかし、クリスナバガバルギータの中で、私はそのすべての人々の心の中にいて、その人をあのその導いているというふうに言っています。And if someone sincerely、uh, calls out to God, please help me, then he makes an arrangement. 本当に神にその心からの助けを呼ぶ人があれば神はそのちゃんとそれをアレンジしてくださるんですね。もう一つの例はジュルバ・マハラージです。ジュルバ・マハラージは、ジュルバ・ジュルバマハラージは、ジュルバ・マハラージは、本当にもう強く神に会いたいと熱望していました。But he was an artarty. He wanted some wealth from God. しかし神からその富を得ることも考えていました。But still, クリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナは、そのクリスナ Intense desire to, to meet God and that he was determined to meet him no matter what. Because of that, Christian within his heart made an arrangement for him to meet Narada Muni. So, in the same way, because Prichit Maharaj was so desirous of Understanding how to connect to Krishna, then he was able to meet Shukadeva Goswami. It was by divine arrangement. 
One of the reasons that he got such an advanced spiritual master because of his attitude. When he had been cursed to die in seven days, he said, uh, that's okay. He said, it's, it's the Lord's arrangement. He said, otherwise I would have just gone on being a king. But this is Krishna's way of calling me to him. And he also didn't want to waste any time. Because there were lots of ways that he could have uh, appealed the case. First, he could have taken it to a higher court. He just said, let's start right away uh, doing what's right. So, Shukadeva Swami was uh, given a high seat to speak the Bhagavatam. And Parikshit Maharaj uh, sat down to ask questions. And uh, during this time, they didn't take any breaks. Uh, Preacher didn't even want to drink water. Because <coughs> if you drink water, sooner or later you got to get up. And so no water and no food. And no sleep. And this means that he was, uh, as he said, Naishakti Dushahan Shunan Takto Dam Apipadyate Pipan Tam Tam Mukam Boja Chutam Harikatam Ritam. He said, I don't, he said, it's, it's amazing that I don't need to, to drink anything or eat anything or even sleep. He said that. Uh, because chutam harikatamritam, because of the nectar that's falling from your mouth, Shukadeva Goswami, somehow that's keeping me from being thirsty, hungry, or sleepy. So for the seven days, then, uh, Preacher kept asking questions. And this pastime comes in the 10th canto. When Shukadeva has been speaking about uh, Krishna in Vrindavan and Krishna in Mathura and Krishna in Dwarka. So the first verse says, um, is Shukadeva Goswami speaking? Hey. One day, the coward men. Hey, Shukadeva Goswami wa itta. Aru hi, ushikai no otoko tachi ga. The coward men, eager to take a trip to worship Lord Shiva, traveled by bullock carts to the Ambika forest. シュシバを礼拝するために旅をしたくてたまらなかったので。ギッシャに乗ってアンビカの森へと旅した。And Anurchur Arminair Bhaktya Devim Cha Ripatem Bikam. O King, after arriving there, they bathed in the Saraswati and then devotedly worshipped with various paraphernalia the powerful Lord Pashupati and his consort, Goddess Ambika. Oh, 
王よそこに到着してから彼らはサ,バサラスバティ側で沐浴をしそれからさまざかまな礼拝道具を使って強力な主パシュパティとその配偶者アンビカー女神を変身して礼拝した。はい。大きくなるこれ。私の声ですか違う違う。コンピューターのマックス。Okay. So that's a p a s h u p a t i and Ambika means a Shiva and Parvati. p a s h u p a t i と Ambika というのは Shiva と Parvati のことを言います。And the, the reason they worshipped、uh, Shiva and Parvati is because Shiva is very dear to Lord Vishnu. Shiva と Shiva をその崇拝した理由というのは Shiva というのは、えー、Vishnu に非常に愛しい人だと。And to the Vaishnavas. Sanatan Goswami also, also used to worship Shiva. Because he's a great devotee. Vaishnava a n y a t a s h a n b u means that、uh, Shiva is the greatest Vaishnava. So they worshiped him to、uh, enhance their bhakti. And they worship, also worship the Ambika. His wife. Okay, and then uh, uh, text three. Gavu Hiranyam La Samsi Madhu Madhavanam Madhu Madhanam Adrita Brahmani Pyo Dadu Sarve Devo Na Priyatam Iti. The coward man gave the Brahmanas gifts of cows, gold, clothing, and cooked grains mixed with honey. Then the cowherds prayed, May the Lord be pleased with us. 3節牛飼いの男たちは、ブラーフマナたちに牛、黄金、衣服、そして蜂蜜を混ぜたご飯を送った。それから牛飼いたちは、主が私たちに喜んでくださいますようにと祈った。はい。This is the custom when one goes to a holy place is to satisfy the, the Brahmanas there. これはその聖地に行ったときにブラマナ、ブラマナたちを喜ばせる習慣なんですね。By giving all kinds of gifts. こうやっていろんなあのギフトをね。Even Lord Chaitanya, when he went to holy places, would、uh, meet up with、uh, different Brahmanas there who would ask for donations. And now, when you go to Radha Kund, you know, there'll be a, a person who will come along and ask to do some、uh, puja on your behalf. And if you don't have them do it, then、uh, you'll have a very、uh, difficult time. <laughs> But it's nothing new. It's there in the Chaitanya Bhagavad also that Lord Chaitanya he laughed when he went to some of these holy places because there's so many Brahmanas、uh, wanting to do some puja for him. The next verse is four. Ushu Saraswati Tire Jalam Prashya Yata Rata Rajinim Tam Mahabhaga Nanda Sunanda Kadaya Which means Nanda, Sunanda, and the other greatly fortunate cowherds spent that night on the bank of the Saraswati, strictly observing their vows. They fasted, taking only water. 4節。Nanda, Sunanda, そしてその他の非常に幸運な牛飼いたちは、誓いを厳格に守って、サラスバティ側の岸辺でその夜を過ごした。彼らは水だけ飲んで断食した。はい。So, Sunanda is the younger brother of Nanda Maharaj. 
And this is another uh, requirement when one goes to the holy place that he should do some austerity when you get there. Like fasting. Shaving your head. Taking a bath. So they only drank water. Sunanda's younger brother, Upananda, is the older brother of Nanda. During the night, a huge and extremely hungry snake appeared in that thicket, slithering on his belly up to the sleeping Nanda Maharaj, the snake began swallowing him. ポセツ。その夜、非常にお腹が空いている巨大なヘビがその茂みに現れた。腹ばいで滑るように進みながら眠っているナンダマハラージャに近づき、ヘビは彼を飲み込み始めた。so the kind of snake was a boa constrictor. And yajit, yadrishaya, it's uh, translated here by chance. But uh, Jiva Goswami said it, yadrishaya means by, good, by some good fortune. The snake. Yeah, good fortune because Krishna is going to step on his head. And actually, uh, Sanat Goswami says, really, the snake was taking shelter of the, of the feet of Nanda Maharaj. The feet of Nanda Maharaj or Krishna? Nanda Maharaj, because he he grabbed him, he started to swallow him by his feet first. The prophet writes in the pastime of Gajendra that the crocodile also took shelter of Vaishnava by biting the foot of Gajendra. It shows the importance of taking shelter of the lotus feet of a Vaishnava. Somehow or other one should do that. If you're a snake or a crocodile, you have to... やっぱ、ヘビとか、ま、あの、あの、ワニだったらね、その、バシナボナシを噛めばいいんですけれども。なんか、あの、あの、ワニだったらね、その、バシナボナシを噛めばいいんですけれども。なんか、あの、あの、
he'll be just like Narayan. And he told Nanda Maharaj that you'll be safe from all danger by this boy. So by now the residents of Vrindavan were used to calling out to Krishna for help. So Prabhupada says that we have to practice during this lifetime calling out for Krishna. So that when we're in the clutches of death, we'll also call out. Number seven. Tasya chakranditam shutva gopala sahasohitaha grastancha drishtva vibrata vibranta sarpam vivyadhur ulmukai. When the cowherd men heard the cries of Nanda, they immediately rose up and saw that he was being swallowed. Distraught, they beat the serpent with blazing torches. Narasetsu Nanda no sakebi o ushikai no otoko tachi ga kiku to kare ra wa sugu ni okite Nanda ga nomikomare te iru no o mita kokoro o torimida shita ushikai tachi wa moe te iru taimatsu de hebi o tataita Number eight, Alatair Dayaman OP Namu Chet Tum Anugrama Tum Asrishya Pada Pietya Bhagavan Satvatam Pati. But even though the firebrands were burning him, the serpent would not release Nanda Maharaj. Then the Supreme Lord Krishna, master of his devotees, came to the spot and touched the snake with his foot. あっせつ。しかし、燃えている松明が彼を燃やしても蛇はナンダマハラージャを解き放たおうとしなかった。それから、献身者たちは主人であられる思考主クリシナは献身者たちの主人であられる思考主クリシナは その場所へ行かれ、足で蛇に触れた。Chiva Goswami says that Krishna was staying a little distance away with his friends. Because he didn't want to be near the grown-ups because they restricted his play. But he came very quickly because of his great affection for his father. He touched the snake's tail with his foot, but he didn't kick it. And he was careful not to touch his father with his foot, since it would be an offense. But he didn't, he didn't want to injure the snake. Because he, he knew that he was releasing him from a curse that he had. Uh, text 9. Savai Bhagavata Srima Parasparsha Utashupa AJ Sarpa Vapur Hitva Rupam vidya dharachitam, dharachitam, savai, savai bhavavata shrima parasparsha hatashupa beje sarpa vapurhitva rupam vidya dharachitam, savai bhavavata shrima parasparsha Atashupa, Sarpa, Vapur Hitva, Rupam 
Vidya Dararkshitam Savai Bhagavata Srimat Padas Parsha Hata Subha Beje Sarpavapur Hitva Beje Sarpavapur Hitva Rupam Vidya Dararchitam Rupam Vidya Dararchitam Savai Bhagavata Srimad Sāvai <laughs> Sa. 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 Indeed. Sa. 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 ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。ハード。
rupam vidya vidya dararchitam indicate that the erstwhile snake appeared in a beautiful form worshipable among the demigods called the Yadras. In other words, he appeared as the leader of the Vijadras. ダラルチタンという言葉は以前のヘビがビデアダラと呼ばれる神々の間で礼拝される美しい姿で現れたことを示していますつまり彼はビデアダラの指導者として現れたのでした so an important word in this word is Bhagavata. Which means Bhagavan or uh, the person who is full of all Akhita. And also Srimat, which means that he's uh, divine. So this is the nature of Krishna. Okay. He has all opulences. And in Vrindavan, one of his great opulences is, is his mercy. That uh, whomever he kills becomes immediately liberated. Because Krishna is absolute, he whether he kills someone or he is a friend to that person, both uh, people, the person being killed or the person being befriended is uh, benefited. Benefited. And, uh, Everyone in the world is looking for some way to counteract the inauspicious nature of this world. In his prayers, Prahlad Maharaj to Varnashringadev says, that there are many ways that people try to counteract bad influence of the world. It's called Dukkha Aushadam. Dukkha means misery and Aushadam means medicine. アウシュダムアウシュダムというのは薬というんです。Like <laughs> That the, when people try to uh, take some remedy, material remedy, it becomes worse than the thing that caused it in the first place. In other words, the, the medicine is worse than the disease sometimes. Uh, yeah, uh, bro, this, is, this is my meditation on the material world that people try to counteract the stress but they make it worse. Uh, 
And he says everyone's talking about finding some happiness in the material world. But he asked the question, where is it? My father tried to get it, and he was expert at trying to enjoy the material world. Prahlad said that his father Hiranyakashipu became so powerful that if he just moved his eyebrows, then、uh, people would be afraid of him and move out of the way. He had so much power. <laughs> he said that、uh, he was destroyed within a second by the power of Nishimidev. He said, So, why should I try to find happiness in the material world? I'll only just take shelter of you. So there's, there's something amazing about chanting Hare Krishna. And that is that one feels better when one chants. It's impossible to feel better in this world. Everyone's trying to feel better by some material arrangement. I may feel、uh, some relief from the material miseries for just one second. Lord Chaitanya said that happiness of relief is like when somebody is being tortured. Hundreds of years ago, And then more recently, starting with the Bush administration, people used to、uh, tie somebody to a board and then put them in water until they were drowning. And then they'd pull them up for a second. <laughs> and then the person would. <gasps> So Lord Chaitanya said, this, <laughs> He said, that's material happiness. And He said that there's a way that we're suffering because of our connection with the material world. In our identification with the material body. And there's only one solution to the problems caused by our connection with the body. And that is to become transcendental to the body. And this can be achieved by performing devotional service. He told Rupa Goswami, Lord Chaitanya told Rupa Goswami that when you start to practice devotional service, starting with hearing and chanting, and then there are six、uh, benefits that you get. ね、the first is you get free from material distress. Second is that you enter into a life of auspiciousness. 
So these first two uh, happen even as one just starts the practice of devotional service. And Lord Chaitanya explained the reason that we feel unhappy is because of the reactions to our previous activities in the material world. Those reactions happen on many levels. Just like a, there was a seed to a tree. And then when the seed sprouts, it gets a little more developed. And then a, a little creeper pops out from the earth. And it turns into a tree. And it bears fruits. So Lord Chaitanya compared the development of a tree or a plant to the various stages of reactions to our previous activities in the material world. So I'm saying this because this verse says, Hatta Ashubha, Ashubha, that all of the Ashubha or the bad influence that was causing this uh, vidyadha or the, uh, suffering in the material world was destroyed by the touch of Krishna's lotus foot. So one might then say, well, what are my chances for this to happen? <laughs> because Nanda was the father of Krishna. And Krishna came and personally put his lotus foot. So might that happen to me? And the answer is yes, it can happen to Because Krishna is absolute. Absolute means that there's no difference between Krishna and his name. Or the words he speaks. Or his form. And in the practice of devotional service, we listen to Krishna's words. And we chant his names. And this is the same as Krishna putting his lotus foot or his, even his lotus hand on our head. And Lord Chaitanya said that he told Sanatana Goswami and Haridas Thakur. That when someone starts to chant Hare Krishna very seriously, then they give up their material body also. You don't have a, a material body anymore when you become a devotee. He said you get a sarakadeha. It means the, the body of a practitioner. And as one continues to practice devotional service, upon giving up this uh, practitioner's body, one gets the well, spiritual body. This happened to Narada Muni. 
he was a uh, he was practicing bhakti. It was based on the teachings he got from his uh, spiritual masters. He was living at home with his mother. And the, these two great devotees came and stayed at his house. He was only five years old. But he was already showing signs of being a great devotee. So normally the devotees they would stay at somebody's house just for a few months, three months. But because they saw so much potential in Narada Muni as a little child, they stayed twice as long, six months. And uh, because Narada Muni was submissive to them and wanted to learn, even though he was a little boy, they gave him his, all their teachings. And after the sages, those devotees left, then uh, just very soon afterwards, his mother died. She was bitten by a snake. And then uh, he had nobody. So just as a little boy, he, he left his homestead and he went out and wandered around the world. And based on the teachings he had received, he was seeing the world in relationship to Krishna. And he went to a, one day he wandered into a forest. And he sat down. And he was practicing meditating on Krishna the way that his teachers had shown him. And suddenly Krishna showed himself. And Narada Muni felt that he was completely separate from his body. And he experienced a high state of spiritual ecstasy. And then suddenly he lost that feeling. And then he tried again, tried to get it back. And then Krishna spoke to him, although he couldn't see his form, he could hear his voice. And Krishna said that, you're not perfect yet. But now you know what it feels like to reach the goal. So, for the rest of his life, he was very confident, Narada, that he, he knew what, he was, what his goal was. So, when he finally left his body, he immediately attained a spiritual so, by practicing devotional service, we're constantly in receiving Krishna's touch. And by that touch, uh, any uh, inauspiciousness within our mind, body, it gradually becomes diminished. And as we cultivate uh, this uh, attachment to Krishna in this lifetime, 
クリシナへの執着というものを高めることで、When we, as in here, the, the snake, Hitva, Rupam, he gave up his form as a snake and he attained a new, a new form, that of the d y a d a で、その、あの、大蛇がね、クリシナの足に溢れたときに、もう、直ちに、その大蛇の姿を捨てて、その、あの、私たち。So, in conclusion, it's a good idea to practice devotion. <laughs> and to think of Krishna. And to chant his name. And take Krishna's advice. Tasmat sarve shukale shu mama nu smara y u d i j a b a y a r p i t a m a n o budir mami v a i s h y a s a samshaya. That is, Even though you're working and you have things you have to do in this world, then he said, Keep chanting Hare Krishna. And he says, Without a doubt, if you do that in this lifetime, then you'll attain perfection. Krishna says there's no doubt about it. Yujacha means that he was telling Arjuna, you keep fighting, do your job, but just remember me at the same time. I said in conclusion, everyone was getting excited when I kept going. <laughs> okay, so now、uh, let's see if there's any questions or, or reflections. By chanting、uh, Krishna's name sincerely, I would like to continue to have、um, practitioner's body. Two more and we're done. That's at the study of t h i s guy. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, please accept my humble dhanma pranam. s a g l a s h i r a Prabhupada. Please accept mine. Hare Krishna s i d h a m a p r a b h u Please go ahead.、Um, Prabhuji, it was very interesting to bring、uh, like Sukhdeva Gos. Can't understand. Which represents the envious nature, envious nature of the conditioned soul. And by,、uh, by the touch of the lotus feet of Krishna, that enviousness、uh, in my heart can be easily released. So that was very interesting. And I. And,、uh, From your lecture, like surrendering to the holy name, which is non different from Krishna, can help me.、Uh, yes, Prabhupada. So, this is what I understand. Did you understand? Like the serpent he's comparing to, serpents are known to be envious. Oh, I see. Okay. And then you can even become free from that.、Okay. So, I know, heavy, you know, so you know, so you know. あの何表す動物ですよね。しかし、か自分の中にあるその妬みの声というのも、その牛の名前を唱えることによってあの消えていくことができるというのがとても心に残った。I would like to follow the footsteps of Mahatma Prabhu and pray that by chanting Hare Krishna, I also become free from the snake of envy. で、マハトマさんがおっしゃったようにね。この,あの決心方針の修行を続けていくことによって、その蛇のような執念深い気持ちがから生まれられますように。あすいません。はい、すいませんあのあの。これ質問じゃないんですけど、マハートマさんがおっしゃったことが
ちょっとよくね、うん、あの聞き取れなかったので、うん、あお,お願いもう一度お願いします。あマハトマさんが、うん、飛びますか。ちょっと待ってください。<笑>はい、<笑>あ僕が感じたことはあのサラバブータンランドバオデギータの説でハートの中に主がいつもパラマートマとして自分の心を見ていると。そこで、あの、チャンティングを本当に真剣に注意深く唱えることによって、その、今の体から修練の段階への、そういうクリシナを感じるような段階へと、そういう体に変わっていくというのを聞いて、そうなりたいと望みました。<笑>ありがとうございました。はい、最後ははい。質問です。質問ですかはい。質問です。いつもクリシナのことを考えて、唱えて、なんかビータ読んだりしてるんですけど、その中でなんかこう安心感を感じたり、こうなんだ幸せを感じたりすることもあるんですが、まずそういう暮らししてる中で、これは自己満で爆発してるのかなとか思うことがあって、自分は献身奉仕してるのかな、できてるのかなっていう、わかるのはどうやってわかるんですか So, as, as she practiced Krishna consciousness, like beating、uh, Bhagavad Gita, chanting、uh, holy name,、uh, sometimes she feels very good, you know, very she feels happiness. But, Um, at the same time, she feels, is this, and、um, am I doing it for Krishna? Am I doing it as a devotional service or am I doing it just as if I'm myself? How can you tell the difference? Either way, it's okay. What's the meaning? The, the attitude <laughs> of s h u g a r i Goswami is that、uh, whether your, whatever your motive is, If you approach Krishna, then your motive will gradually be purified. After all, this Vidyadara was a hebi? Hebi? Hebi. Hebi. He was a hebi. <laughs> <laughs> All he could do was bite Nanda Maharaj. And he、uh, got to have Krishna's mercy. And Dhruva Maharaj, his motive wasn't pure. <laughs> But he approached Krishna. Putana, she was、uh, wanted to kill Krishna. プタナもあのクリシュナのことを殺そうとした。彼,彼女も解放になりましたね。パンドラカはクリシュナのふりをして、私こそがクリシュナだとあ、あなたはクリシュナじゃないというふうに言ってた。But because he was saying Krishna, 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 and looking in the mirror and saying, yeah, I think I look like Krishna, then he got liberated. <laughs> で、パンドラカはその、uh, 自分,が自分がクリシナ、私こそクリシナって言って、鏡を見て、あ、これがクリシナ、私だというふうに、常にクリシナのことを考えてた。だから、解放。バガーサラ、スワロー・クリシナ、and tried to kill all, and did kill all his friends。で、アガスラは、そのクリシナと、クリシナの友達をみんな飲み込んでね、その、殺そうとした。But he got a very special kind of、uh, benediction. しかし、特別なね、その、恩恵をもらいましたよね、クリシナ。So, main thing is to、um, do what you can with who you are right now.、ねままね、And Krishna says to Uddhava in, in the Bhagavatam, that's all right. You don't have to pretend to be somebody you're not. 
Krishna will accept you as you are. And then he'll straighten everything out. And he'll do it in, in such an amazing and loving way that will be a, a surprise. If we, uh, if we do what we can do now, then Krishna has a lot to work with. But even if we, uh, even if we start devotional service and then uh, we stop, Krishna will drag us back. So it's, it's good to find some motivation to keep uh, one's practice and stay in touch with Krishna. I'm just, over the last uh, few weeks I've been writing about Japa. It's really helped me to, to look into it and, and to write about it. One of the things that Prabhupada emphasizes is that we, besides chanting, we should also remember by reading the Bhagavad Gita, the books, uh, who we are. That we're not part of the material world. And the body is temporary. But that Krishna is our friend. And if we just do our best, he'll work everything out. One of my favorite chapters in the Gita is chapter 8. And Krishna gives a, he, can, he compares and contrasts the, the yogis to the devotees. The yogis have a very sophisticated process for leaving their bodies at, a, at the right time so they can attain Krishna. で、Krishna says that he understands that there's going to be a, a, a point at which we're practicing devotional service, but we can't do it the way we want to. And this can be very frustrating. The period of Narta Nivriti, where we're dealing with a lot of the uh, desires that are, are there naturally, in, not naturally, they're unnatural, but they, they come from our association in the material world. They seem impossible to overcome. Even Devahuti said that to Kapiladeva. She said, does this ever end? Is it ever over? <laughs> and and uh, Kapiladeva said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, two realizations I'd like to share. One is about writing, and it compares to this Anartha Nivriti. 
Whenever I'm writing something, whether it's an essay or a bigger piece, it seems impossible. Like, how will all the thoughts come together and become coherent? Especially a book. Because it's so big, it's like an ocean. So I've written two books. And both of them, when I was writing, I thought it was I was like in the middle of an ocean swimming. Every time I look up, I see no I see no shoreline, only water. <laughs> and all I could tell myself is keep swimming. <laughs> so that's a Narta Nivriti. It's like an ocean. But there, I won't say them all now, I'll say them later, but there's so many encouraging statements that Krishna gives. <laughs> Just keep swimming, even if you feel like you're the worst swimmer, even if you feel like there's, you know, it's very, you can't see the shore, if you keep swimming, you're going to be successful. <laughs> And the second realization about anartas is that Krishna is very kind to make them so difficult to remove. When we become fortunate, we have a desire to, to become good. But then it seems impossible. So I was thinking about how if it was easy, then I'd just take it for granted. And I might think with my cheating mind that I'll just be a devotee, but also hang on to my anarthas. But when I see how dangerous they are, how difficult they are to overcome, that if I feel uh, that I want to be more careful, and also that I can't remove them myself. Just like in this story, everyone was using everything, burning logs, they were hitting the snake and eating. <laughs> Are like, <laughs> you can do everything, you know, you go see Tony Robbins, do whatever, and they're still going to be there. <laughs> Krishna wants us to come to a point where we go, Krishna! <laughs> and then our chanting has a really great effect. But even the great devotees like Prahlad Maharaj, I was quoting today, they all say the same thing. Prahlad said, everyone's afraid of you, Lord Nishringadeva, because you're so fierce. But I'm not. I'm not afraid of you. But I am afraid of Maya. <laughs> so please protect me. So it's good to feel helpless.
And if you just keep <laughs> swimming, you'll cross the ocean. <laughs> and a lot of times we're much further along than we think. And Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur says in the sixth canto of the Bhagavatam, sometimes Krishna doesn't show us how advanced we are so that we'll keep, keep swimming. And Prabhupada says in the light of the Bhagavad, sometimes we don't realize how how much we've done in devotional service till the moment we're leaving our body. So that's kind of Krishna's mercy also, so we stay humble. Thank you for such an important question and for your sincere emotion in asking. And with that, we'd like to say to everyone today on the broadcast and here in person. That was a very soapful class. Soapful? Oh, soapful. It stands for simple, optimistic, personal, and encouraging. So, S O P E. Simple, optimistic, personal, and encouraging. Optimistic. Simple. Simple. Yeah. Simple. De. Optimistic. Rakantek de. Kojintek de. Encouraging. I get to the hanging master now. So you practice. So, when you when you're writing a book or you're Hare Krishna, thank you. Thank you. In the context of what? Uh, Thank you. 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 Thank you.